Welcome back to Kids Church. Hope everybody has had a good week. And this is week four of our series, Game Plan. And today we're going to learn a new game about hand clapping. But before we get into all the fun and all the things we're going to learn, let's start with a time of prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are going to be here with us. Every moment of this Kids Church Sunday meeting, you will be in our midst teaching us and guiding us. We thank you that you are here with us and we look forward to all of the great things we're going to learn today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, hope everybody's been doing well and who can tell me what the power truth was that we've been learning so far? I know you can. Well, let me remind you. My game plan is to connect with God and move forward. And can anybody tell me what is the power verse that we've been learning? Mm hmm. I know you can. Okay, so John 15, verse 5 says, I am the vine, and you are the branches. If a person remains in me, and I remain in him, then he produces much fruit. But without me, he can do nothing. So, let's take some time to praise and worship our God. God made me, He made everything. God loves me, He can do anything. If I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere and He loves me. When I look up, 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 I know He's real. When I look down, 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 I believe what I found. When I look in God's Word and I search for Him, He rewards me. Cause He loves me. God made me, He made everything. God loves me, He can do anything If I run over here, if I run over there God is everywhere, and He loves me When I look up, 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 I know He's real When I look down, 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 I believe what I found When I look in God's Word and I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me When I look up, up, up I know He's real When I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's Word And I search for Him He rewards me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me Cause He loves me
was so good. Now, let's play a hand clapping game. Now, hand clapping games have been around for a long time. Even when I was growing up, I also played hand clapping games and all of my friends did. But today, we're going to learn an original, a new one. And so I have invited some special guests to help with the hand clapping game. So, let me introduce them to you. Okay, these are my guests who are going to be showing us how to play the hand clapping game. Would you please introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Oliver. Hi, my name is Jacob. All right. We are going to do the hand clapping game. Okay, here we go. so fun so thank you very much Jacob and Oliver for your exciting uh, game playing together so they had to make sure that they were saying the same thing and doing the same action even if things were speeding up that that unity is what we will learn in our verse today so how are you guys liking our series game plan so far good right so it's been fun connecting some games to our Bible verses that we remember and every time we play our favorite game, we can remember those verses. Today's game is widely played in many parts of the world, but using different lyrics and different actions. Yet most have the same goal, which we will connect to the Bible, and that is unity in voice and in action. So our Bible story today comes from Romans 15 verses 5 and 6. It says, Our God is a God who strengthens and encourages you. May he give you the same attitude towards one another that Christ Jesus had. Then you can give glory to God with one mind and voice. He is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ. In this part of the Bible, Paul is encouraging the Christians to be unified. The strong Christians should help the weak ones in their faith. It is God who strengthens and encourages his people so that they can live and worship God in unity. Paul outlines two ways we can be united so we can glorify God. First, he mentions that we need to have one mind. Meaning, we are to be in harmony in mind and heart. Let us set aside small differences and seek to agree with each other. We don't need to be exactly the same, like dressing in the same clothes or having the same hairstyle, but we need to try to agree in matters of the heart, accepting and loving one another. Secondly, the Apostle Paul tells us that our unity can lead us to glorify God with one voice. Again, this doesn't mean that we say the same things as at the same time, like in our hand clapping game, but it means that we can use our voice not to make fun of people and to tear them down, but that we can encourage one another, and push each other toward God. The purpose of our unity is not to please each other or just get along, but to glorify God. The unity of God's people brings him honor and makes his name known. Those who do not know God will hear about him through the way his people are united and loving each other. 
As we are still in the start of the year, let us connect with God and allow his love to set aside our small differences with each other. Let us face the new year with the intention of moving forward in unity with our brothers and sisters in Christ, with one mind and one voice. So as we seek to be unified, we can look to the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as the perfect example for us. So God, the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit exist as three persons in one God. They are in one mind and heart in everything, even to the point of sending Jesus Christ to earth to die for our sins. Who can tell me what our power truth has been for this series? Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. My game plan is to connect with God and move forward. And how about the power verse? John 15, verse 5. Who knows it? Ah, you guys are smart. I am the vine and you are the branches. If a person remains in me and I remain in him, then he produces much fruit. But without me, he can do nothing. So. But without me, he can do nothing. But without me, he can do nothing. Kita gunting ya. Cut it. 
Hati-hati ya, Dek. Oke. Okay. Nah, sekarang kita udah punya tiga ya? Iya. Yeah. Kita udah punya tiga. Uh, cut out hands. Uh, tiga, tiga lembar uh, hasil uh, jiplakan tangannya Lea. Oke? Okay? Nah, apa yang harus kita lakukan? Kita ambil dua, dua lembar. Make sure semuanya harus sama. Terus kita buka. Kita buka kayak gini. Oke? Okay? Lalu kita tempelkan double sided tape di ujung masing-masing jari. Oke, okay, Leah? Oke. Okay. Yuk, kita buat sama-sama ya. Nah, udah jadi kayak gini. Nah, kita tadi itu lupa. Harusnya kita perlu juga e, kancing atau karena misara nggak punya kancing, jadi misara beads. pakai beads atau manik-manik kayak gini. Ya, sekarang kita tempelin satu-satu di jari-jari ini. Oke? Okay? Nah, kalau udah jadi kayak gini, kita masukin yang satu lagi di tengah-tengah di antaranya. Jadi kayak gini. Oke? Gimana ya? Udah kayak gitu ya. Oke. Jadi kayak gini. Tuh. Yeay! Supaya bisa bagus kita ambil kertas yang tadi terus kita wrap kita wrap dibungkus supaya dia bisa buat pegangan ya jadi deh <laughs> aku di bukunya nih ini yang punya aku nih nah seru ya hand clapper ini was kind of difficult to make but it's so much fun, fun to play with agak susah ya bikinnya tapi tapi seru banget buat dimainin nah hand clapper ini mengingatkan kita atas permainan hand clapping game today dimana kita harus mengatakan dan melakukan sesuatu di waktu yang sama nah remember that we should be united as God's people so You guys have been wonderful as usual. Thank you so much for your attention. And let us close this kids' church meeting in a prayer. Dear God, thank you for strengthening and encouraging us so we can be united with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Please help us to exercise unity in mind and voice, starting with our family. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you very much. We'll see you see you all again next time. Bye.